So we're going to do a full live demo of the 7V uh, custom backlight that I just built in QMK using custom firmware. Uh, so to start off, uh, I'm just going to say go back to zero. So no backlight enabled currently. All the uh, effects are turned off. Uh, I'm just going to open up a page so I can type here. Okay. So yeah, no effects currently. Uh, nothing special going on here um, with a few exceptions uh, I've implemented some mod colorations that happen so if you press the either control key actually this is not bound to control this is my layer one key currently momentary so just the one control key on the left and that will turn on the control block indicator so uh, just pressing the control any of the control keys left control right control would indicate on the F1 through F4 keys. Um, that is, of course, customizable. I have You could set it anywhere, or you could turn it off uh, just by changing a configurable value in the hex file, in the config.h file. Uh, the next one would be the Alt key. Either Alt key will indicate on F9 through F12. Just like that. Uh, the Shift key indicates on F5 through F8. Uh, either shift key will indicate there and the other thing to note there is that is also the caps lock indicator so uh, holding turning on caps lock and pressing either shift key will indicate off the caps lock indicator as you can see uh, now to the well the momentary switch indicates here so the layer the layer logic is indicated on these three keys, layer uh, zero, layer one, layer two, and layer three. I only have layer one on momentary control here, so it's just going to light that up. But the standard logic would be active for layers two and layers three. And I'm going to be using that to switch the backlight effects now. So first one is all on. So everything is turned on with the exception of the caps lock indicator, which by default is turned off. If I turn caps lock on, it comes on like so and that same logic applies um, all of the other indicators aside from caps lock uh, do not um, do not have that same logic where caps lock uh, always shows whereas the others do not I wanted to make sure I could see whether or not caps lock was on or off so that one's like that even with the effects turned on uh, so the next effect is just a simple breathing cycle basic uh, of course if it, all of my effects are adjustable by speed and by brightness so here I've slowed it down you can see the effect is taking much longer to fade and the brightness if I turn the brightness down it will limit how bright it can get and I'll speed that up and you can see it just it just kind of caps the brightness so I can kind of dim it down there it just kind of flashes on and off because it's at the minimum brightness turn that back up and here you can start to see if I hold on the uh, like any of the the layer stuff it starts to show the indicators will lock on rather than breathe showing the stacking effect there um, next effect is a radial spiral effect basic but uh, it works pretty nice again adjustable by speed here it's very slow and also brightness if I turn the brightness down it actually sort of narrows the beam width if I turn the brightness back up it widens up uh, the next is a similar uh, cycle where it just goes from left to right also adjustable by speed and brightness same thing you get the idea uh, the next one is fun so this is a key fade type of an effect so I'm at max speed right now and I'm at max brightness um, so this is kind of an idea these ones are nice because they're the adjustments make a pretty significant difference in the in the look of the effect um, so all of the keys will light up as you can see except for the caps lock ones 
Uh, and if I slow that down to the slower speed, you can see it persists quite a bit longer. Um, also adjustable by brightness. Brightness on this one will affect um, the logic slightly differently. So it actually will fade faster if you lower the brightness. So you kind of have two dimensions of adjustment on the fade effects I built because lowering the brightness will make it fade to zero quicker. Um, it doesn't just trim the brightness off like I did with that other effect. Um, so a couple other fade effects are this row based key hit one where it flashes based on the row there. Uh, and it looks really cool while typing, I think. Uh, probably even cooler if I lower the brightness slightly so it fades really fast. Um, so now we're at like ultra fast fade. I can even lower the brightness more and it'll be even quicker, almost instantaneous, even a little longer. So you really have a fine adjustment there. It's quite nice. So that's kind of cool. Um, the next one is similar. It's just adding a, a vertical component. Uh, so you can see there's not only the, let's brighten that up. There's not only the uh, row is lighting up based on the key hit, it's also the column in the matrix. So that one's pretty cool. Um, then a real basic static effect here is just the modifier keys are lit up. Um, I just wanted one that does that, so there it is. Uh, again, adjustable by brightness, but this one has no speed impact, so that's it. Um, and the last effect is this raindrops, which I sort of stole from the Wilba's original code, but I modified it, so... Um, it's quite a bit nicer now. It's adjustable by speed, adjustable by brightness, and it uses the key fade technology that's built in. So, um, what's a good way to show that? If I slow it down and dim it down, it might be a little easier to see. Um, it does actually use the key fade logic on top of the fact that it uh, it's basically what it's doing is setting the key fade values for like 15 keys at a time every tick and it makes this nice little like raindrop pattern and there you can see some of the overlapping layer logic again I'll demonstrate control alt control alt and it overlaps overwriting the brightness values of the uh, the indicator chunks there and again, that's the indicators themselves are all customizable. You don't even need to use them. It's just based on the values in a hex file. So if you don't want to use them, you just set the value to 255. It turns it off. Uh, or you can change the index to any of the keys on the keyboard. And it'll use that index as the indicator. <clears throat> and that's it. That's the last effect. So yeah, that's just a rundown of what I did for the, uh, for the 7V there. Uh, as far as custom backlight, these are green LEDs mounted over... Um, I'm using the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark switches from Kono Store. They're the Solaris ones from originally manufactured by JWK, I believe. It looks really nice. It's got this nice underglow that kind of spreads, distributes the light really nice. But I am also going to try building, I have another PCB. I'm going to build the same switches, and I'm going to try it with uh, UV LEDs, which I think is going to be sweet because these puppies do not, they don't really glow unless you hit them with UV light. Uh, that seems to be the only way to make them glow, so I think that'll be another really cool application to have some nice backlight effects on this particular keyboard for me personally because of the switches that I'm using. So that's kind of the whole reason I did this. Uh, 
just because these switches look really nice with the backlight. And uh, this is really expensive keyboard, so why doesn't it have nice backlight effects? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. Really like those indicators. So anyway, if you're interested in this firmware, let me know. I can hook you up. I uh, hope you enjoy. <clears throat> Quick typing test. And there you go.